Hello Team Aquarius, this is Empire333. Welcome to my channel and welcome back for those of you who are not new. So Aquarius, this is going to be your love tarot for past lives. We'll be, we will be getting into a past lives, negative patterns that you keep repeating and, and we're going to get some spiritual advice and um, know about the dynamics on what you need to do to break these negative patterns and manifest the love um, the best love partnership of your life, okay? So let's get into it. So Aquarius, Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, off the bat, what I'm getting for you is that some of you might have in the past like given up opportunities to be with some, to like other opportunities. So it could be like you gave up a work opportunity or a career opportunity or going to school because of someone okay that's one of the things that are popping up okay so some of you it's like in this lifetime you're meant to break that negative pattern so some of you might like find it hard or like you you feel like you know some of you might have lost your dream to do that okay the star so and some of you might have you know been really successful in whatever it is that you're thinking about okay right now so there's like okay so let me just tell you this it's like you gave up in whatever partnerships you've been in, okay, this could be with the same person in different lifetimes, you gave up your soul path, your star path, okay, call it whatever you want. You, It's like your destiny, you shaped your destiny by giving up an opportunity when it comes to any type of success, okay? So let's see what this is about, okay? And I feel I'm hearing here, okay? That in this lifetime, you are meant to take that soul path. You need to do it in this lifetime. Or else what's going to happen is that you're going to go through a lot of heartache and maybe jobs you don't like. Or you're going to have to be in jobs where people are really like um, mean. Or you get like, you know, let's say people gaslight you in your jobs. You know, it's that kind of feeling. It's because you're not on the path you're supposed to be on. So maybe you're just taking these jobs just because they make you money and whatever, and you know and you know that it's not healthy to be there, but that's what I'm seeing for you, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of people like being mean to you, maybe talking behind your back, a lot of backstabbing going on in the work environment. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be um, a job. It could be, you know, um, a business, okay? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. One more. I love it. Okay, so Aquarius. So this is all related to your long-term relationships, okay? And the thing is, is that because you do that, even if you were to be married, if you were ever married before or in a commitment, like a long-term relationship, it ends up in some type of betrayal, okay? And the reason is, is because you're not being honest with yourself, okay? You're not being true to yourself. Because when you give up your dreams for someone else, okay, because maybe um, you wanted to support this other person or whatever the reason is for you, it's like you're not being honest with yourself. And that's why when it comes to long-term commitments, so I want to say even if you've never been married or never been in a commitment you're watching, it's like it's not going to get to that, okay, if that makes sense. Because to the spiritual, you know, universe, okay, to the universe, the most important thing is your star path. It's not, it's not as important to be in a partnership or 
create a family, okay? So what I'm seeing here is that you might, it's like your connections, long-term commitment, like even if you're dating someone, let's say, okay, and you're really into them, that you love them, they love you, whatever. It's like, it's hard um, for it to get to the kind of commitment or the kind of family that you want, okay? It's, it's you feel like a lot of struggle, okay? And that's why a lot of you, um, are really confused when it comes to commitments. You're like, which way should I go? Okay, so maybe a lot of you at times you're like uncertain about what you should do when it comes to um, the person, okay? And you've been repeating this in lifetimes, okay? But the karma is that you just need to move, okay? You just need to move. Um, a lot of you, I feel find yourself stuck in a connection where you just are like, okay, I don't know what to do, but I'm not going this way or that way. It's like you get into stalemate positions here, okay? We'll get into your person in a minute, okay? So this is about um, the karmic wheel. So what I'm seeing here is like for a lot of you, until you don't focus on your soul path, that person that you are meant to be with for the rest of your life is what I'm hearing. It's like not going to manifest because you keep getting stuck in connections that or giving up opportunities because of connections. Okay. Now it could be anything. So I want you to evaluate these things when I telling you, cause this could be like, your lessons have not shown up yet, Aquarius, okay? So let me know in the comments, okay? just want to make sure I'm recording. All right, so let's see about your person. Okay. Wow, all right. Right there, you got it. So your person might have issues when it comes to being loyal is what I'm hearing, okay? Being loyal. Okay. And you also, it's like, how should I say it? It's a very rocky connection, okay? So it could be like this person is not consistent. Even if you're in a commitment with them, they're not consistent with their emotions. They're very like on and off when it comes to their emotions, okay? And also, this is someone who has a, um, how should I say it? They have issues with control, okay? They want to be controlled. They want to control the situation, okay? So you have someone, it's like in the connection, they, and you know what I'm getting for some of you? Like, let's say, um, yeah, this person has an ego on them in a way where it's like, let's say they felt like you were going to break up with them. But since they felt it, they're like, let me break up with Aquarius first. It's like that type of like um, uh, defensive, like they use a lot of defense mechanisms in this connection. Okay. Um, I'm going to see more further what this devil card is about because I want to know. Because what I'm seeing from this is like, I'm seeing someone who might have cheated on you. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And you also, I don't, yeah. Some That could resonate for a few of you. I don't see that on a lot of you. But this is this, this connection, um, the connection that you keep repeating with someone in several lifetimes is that, there's a soulmate bond here. They are your soulmate. It's so strong. But when it comes to the takeoff of a long-term connection, it's like they fall short. Um, this person does not... It's very interesting because <coughs> this person has that, like... They give off a very, like, they got a good head on their shoulders, Aquarius.
but they it's like I don't know how to say this it's hard for them to for some reason because there's a lot of karma and lessons it's like maybe they don't ever um like uh They don't make it official. Let's just put it that way. Somehow, some way, they don't make it official that you and them are together, okay, for some of you. That's one of the other things, scenarios I'm picking up, you all. And just remember, I'm picking up a lot of scenarios, a lot of um, negative patterns from past lives, okay? So another thing is that somebody here could be like, let's say, you with you and with someone else, and they keep going back and forth, and they can't make up their mind who they want. That's another negative pattern of this person. Um, and we'll get into advice about what to do to um, heal these negative patterns in a sec, okay, Aquarius? But this person, I feel, they, they are the attention seeker. They want to get your attention, okay? And I feel that when you don't give it to them, Aquarius, this person wants to take off. They shut down emotionally, okay? That's one of the things. So it could be like, okay, they'll come in and they will try to get your attention, try to get your love, and if you don't give it to them because you're here, you're like, I don't know. I don't know about this anymore. Should I stay? Should I go? Okay? Um, then if they don't get that, then they walk away, okay? This person is like what I would call... Um, some type of like attention whore, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let me see further. What is the advice for Aquarius when it comes to their negative patterns? Okay. Stress. Wow. Um, I feel like some of you, you could be doing a lot for people in your connections, okay? Stress is coming up a lot, so maybe you, you overwhelm yourself with other people's things. Aquarius, that is one of um, the messages here. Stay strong in your faith, okay? So it's, it's really important for you to stay optimistic. Um, some of you, I feel... Um, Aquarius, if you've ever felt like paranoid about things, like if you've ever felt paranoid about your love interest or a connection or whatever it is, this has a lot to do with the fact that you weren't being true to yourself, okay? This this star is the guide to your destiny, okay? And some of you have not taken that path, okay? For those of you who always wanted to do things and never got to it, let me know in the comments what you wanted to do. I feel like a lot of you had these dreams. Some of you wanted to go to school for something is what I'm getting. I just heard something scientific or medical, okay? Um, others of you psychology I'm getting um for others of you it could have been like something to do with travel like let's say you wanted to travel to other places and help people or you know in some way okay um there's so many things coming through that you did not do because of relationships so what spirit's saying here is like you chose the other path okay and what they want to tell you is that if you got on your soul path okay everything would turn for the positive if you're going through negative times right now Aquarius or if you don't feel abundant and for some of you this has to do with money too okay some of you thought that if you take something like let's say a job or a path um that was just the easiest thing to do. Um, and you might be making, you know, whatever you're making, right? But your soul path would bring you so much more financial abundance is what I'm hearing here, okay? 
Um, and some of you, yes, some of you like you had to move to be with this person or you wanted to be, you wanted to move, but you didn't because of this person. Okay. You keep doing this. So I feel that some of you think that you can't do better and that's why you've been hanging on to this connection. Okay. You keep hanging on every lifetime. But what I'm getting here is like what spirit saying here, Aquarius, is that if you do, if you get on your star path, right? you will have the abundance. It's kind of like you're going to be rewarded for that and you're going to get new love. A new love energy. This has a lot to do with healing too, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, as you go on your star path, whatever your soul's calling is, right? Same thing, right? Um, you will find love. You will find a, um, a good, like, partnership is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's see further Aquarius, what you will get if you break these negative patterns of not putting yourself first, not putting your soul's calling first. Okay. And this could have a lot to do with guys. I feel like some of you, what I'm hearing here, they, you have some type of money karma. Okay. Now this is probably growing up. Maybe you grew up in a family um, that was like very, uh, what's the word for it? Traditional, like, oh, you have to work hard to, you know, you have to work your butt off to get somewhere or, oh, you can't be rich in this, you know, no one's going to be rich in our family or very like negative um, money conditioning is what I want to call it. And therefore, you made your decisions according to that too, okay? Aquarius, remember when I said what, if you do all these things, what's going to happen? Look at what I just popped up. Ace of water and four of fire. Now, this is about falling in love, okay? This is new, beautiful love. This is also through your intuition because as you're on your soul calling, you will get clear direction of what you should do, right? What's the best for you? Like what avenue do you go to, to make yourself su su successful, okay? Now, this is the four of fire. This is the 1111 card. You might be seeing that num number a lot, right? So, this is like the happy home life, the stability you always wanted. So there is like what I'm seeing here is your true happiness lies in here. Your emotional fulfillment lies in your soul's calling, your star path, right? And in order to get there, you have to break all these negative patterns that I just said, okay? Anything else, any advice? Okay, they want me to do this deck here. Any other advice for Aquarius about breaking? <laughs> I can't make this up. Achievement. You see what I'm saying? When I talked about school, career, whatever, your rewards, your achievements um, have a lot to do with your dreams. Look at what it says. Chase your dreams. You may be surprised by where they lead you. So Aquarius, like, look at this butterfly right here, okay? This is about you transforming, okay? It's about you coming out. It's about you not hiding yourself anymore because there's something. You might have a talent, gift, or skill you have no idea about. Or... um. What I'm also hearing is like you don't have the confidence about. Maybe people in your, uh, yeah, okay. So your partners have not been, um, what's the word for it? Encouraging, okay, towards your dreams and goals. But you, I'm telling you, yes, magnificence. The world needs your brilliance and grace. Look at this. This is about shining, okay? 
And I'm not saying that to you because you're the star, right? Let's not forget that you're the star, right? Um, if you want your, you know that this is the water bear, right? You are the water bear. I want to just say when it comes to this Aquarius, it's like you're not only supposed to be shining, you're supposed to um, shine that everything in your life flows like water. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? So I want you all to make a list, okay? Priorities. Right? Get your priorities straight. You know, when you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. So you, this should be your priority above everything else. Because once you do this, once you start working on this Aquarius, not only do you get achievements, success, you will also um, manifest a new love and a stable home life, okay? This is like everything comes together. This is like you getting on your star path and like showing the world what you got. I want you all to write a list. That's what they're saying. Write a list of everything you think you're good at. Okay. And brainstorm and see where that list gets you. Close your eyes and imagine where those things could get you. Okay. And that will really help. Okay, Aquarius. I hope this helped you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like. And I wish you all the best and peace out.